السلام عليكم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له أشهد أن محمد عبده ورسوله um, it is a great honor to speak to you tonight for a few moments you know we're moving toward iftar I'm going to thank um, Sheikh Muhammad Ibn Ahmed for his profound statement you know someone once said that the most important knowledge that you can have is the knowledge of yourself I do believe that the knowledge of self is important, it's critical. But the most important knowledge you can have is the knowledge of Allah. And this is why the Prophet, peace and blessing be upon him, told Ma'adi bin Jabul Fayyakun awla ma tad'uhum illa an yuwahid Allah ta'ala. That the first thing you invite them to is the oneness of Allah. How great is Allah? We can't even estimate how great he is. We mention Quran, wa man nastkutu min waraka illa ya'lamuha. There is not a leaf that falls except Allah knows it. And subhanAllah, I um I remember I was in my office and I read that ayah from the Quran and I went to the store to get my newspapers and I walked down a long block. And as I was walking, I saw thousands and thousands of leaves on the ground. And I said to myself, You mean tell me that there's not one leaf that falls except Allah knows it? And there are billions of trees on this earth. And some of them have as many as 200,000 leaves on one tree. And that means that not one leaf falls except Allah knows it. He's so powerful. And Allah mentions the Quran. Uh, there's not an animal on earth except that Allah has taken it upon himself to give it its sustenance. Let's think about that for a moment. You know, the largest animal known to man is the blue whale. 100 feet long, weighing 200 tons, living to be 80 years old. You know, uh, having a um, tongue the size of an elephant and the heart the size of an automobile. And yet this, this blue whale... It eats every day. And you know what it eats? Some 40 million krill. 40 million krill. Krill is a shrimp-like animal. Four tons. Imagine one animal eating four tons of food every day. And with the imam, question is today what are we going to do about it because of modern technology modern means of communication we learn things that maybe years ago we didn't learn we learn about people suffering all over the world and you know because of organizations like basma they inform us of the rohingya refugees and others around the world who are suffering and the people in bangladesh who are helping these refugee refugees so the question is, what are we going to do? You know, about 2007, in the state of Nebraska, a state legislator named Ernie Chambers actually had the audacity to sue God in a court of law, seeking an injunction against God from his treatment of human beings. Can you imagine? Suing Allah, the Lord of the worlds. And this really is the theme of my, my talk, my short talk. You know, Allah mentioned Quran, لا يسألوا عما يفعلوا وهم يسألون. He, Allah, will not be uh, questioned about what he does, but they will be questioned. We will be questioned. I want to say something. I want to make sure that you don't misunderstand me. We are, according to Quran, Khalifatullah fil ard. We are human beings, the, the uh, Khalifa, the Khalifa of Allah on the earth. And we are somebody special, blessed, honored. Laqad karamna bani Adam. Allah said, We have honored the children of Adam. All of the angels, they bow down to this creature called Adam. And who is he? 
Who are we? Johnny come lately. And Nasu Kuluhum Benu Adam Adam and Turab. All of us are the children of Adam, and Adam was created of, of the of the dust. So we Johnny come lately. Everything was created before man. Everything. The angels are there, the jinn is there, the earth is there, the animals are there. And then we come and we enjoy this wonderful creation. 194,940,000 square miles of earth, all of these animals in it. And this is my question. Allah is not going to be questioned. Are there people dying of starvation? Yes. Does Allah know it? Of course he does. Is Allah aware of it? Of course he is. Is Allah present? Of course he is. And when my servant acts about me, I'm near. So Allah is watching us. Allah's not on trial. We are. The question is, what are we going to do? Just in case you're not sure, the people are going what what have the people in Jannah will ask the people in hell? Masalaka kafir fir uh uh What made you fall into the hellfire? They say we're not those who used to pray, we're not those who used to feed the poor. Allah won't be tested, won't be questioned, but we will. I think Allah for Basman and work that they have done. And I think uh Imam Zakir, we should partnership with Basma because of the great work that they do. Alhamdulillah, Allah wants to see what we're going to do. And especially in this month of Ramadan, step up, step up to the plate and make donations. That's what we're trying to do. So Alhamdulillah, I yield to you, uh Imam Zakir, I yield to you and say, let's go. Let's get, let's get rolling. Barakallah Fiq. Thank you, Imam, for those uh, very uplifting words. Uh, it's always an honor and pleasure and inspiration hearing from you and sharing this platform. Although you are our senior, you are our murabbi, uh, we appreciate all that you're doing. And uh, I wanted to share with our viewers that Imam Siraj, actually, he is officially a part of uh, Basma, and he is um, going around, mashallah, campaigning and promoting uh, Basma and all of the phenomenal work, the important work that Basma is doing. So, uh, Imam, you encouraged all of uh, all of us to donate and all of our viewers to support uh, the cause of Basma. Of Basma. Uh, at this juncture, I wanted to share a few names. Mashallah, within this time, they have already committed and they have uh, either paid or pledged to make a contribution to Basma. We have Brother Sarij and brother Sheikh Hassan Ali uh, each committed uh, $10,000, mashallah, tabarakallah. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless them, bless them in their health, in their wealth, in their family, accept all of their good deeds in this blessed month of Ramadan. May Allah Azza wa Jal uh, grant them the best fit dunya wal akhirah, ya Rabbil Alameen. We have brother uh, Shakima Suhaib and brother Faizan Hafiz each they have uh, committed $1,000, MashaAllah, Tabarakallah. We ask that Allah blesses them. Uh, we have Brother Saeed Muhammad. We have Brother M. Nap. Uh, we have uh, Brother Hafiz Saeed, $2,400, MashaAllah. Brother uh, Saeed and Brother Nap, $500 each. We ask Allah Azza wa Jal to grant them all uh, the best uh, fi dunya wal akhirah, ya Rabbil Alameen. As well as all of our donors and contributors, those who have been given giving uh, throughout uh, this online program on and off uh, before Ramadan, during Ramadan. Uh, many of our viewers, mashallah, are logging on from uh, various states across the country, as well as a lot of international viewers, mashallah. Uh, and uh, even if it's small uh, portions, sincerely, it can make a huge difference, inshallah, in this month of giving. So uh, we want to thank all of our uh, donors for their uh, generous contributions. May Allah SWT bless you and your families. Uh, Imam, uh, Imam, can I ask you a question? Please. Uh, I was going to ask you a question, but go ahead. I want to ask you a question. I want to ask you a question first, inshallah. Please, go ahead. Have you ever heard, heard of the magazine called Forbes 400? Yes, sir. Forbes 400 is some of the richest people in the world. 
And I read that every year. It comes out once a year, and I always read it and always look at those um, who were on the list the year before, but no longer on the list. Mm -hmm. And there's five people. I just want to mention one of them, uh, David Koch. David Koch died. And I want you to know, note how much money he had left when he died. $53 billion, $300 million. Yeah. Think about that. See, the key is, is not to accumulate and keep it, but is to get it and spend it. Spend it in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Three things follow us when we die. Our families, our wealth, and our deeds. Mm -hmm. Two go back. Our wealth go back. Our family go back. But the thing that remains is our wealth. And you look at the Prophet, peace and blessing be upon him, when he died, what he had left with him. He had his white mule, his uh, sword, and some land that he gave in Sadaqah. La nurithi, what matarakna Sadaqah. We, as prophets, are not inherited, he said, but what we leave behind is Sadaqah. The key is not to accumulate and keep, but to spend in the way of Allah so, get, so you get more reward. And I want to say one more thing, uh, Imam, one more thing. A friend of mine named Yaqub in South Africa, he always texts me. And about two months ago, he texted me and said, uh, do everything with a good heart, seeking no reward. I said, that's fine. I texted him back. Do everything with a good heart, seeking no reward, except from Allah. That's the key. Always looking for something from Allah, from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. For sure, for sure. Jazakallah khair, Sheikh. La nuridu minkum jaza'an wa la shukura. Surah Al-Insan, we feed, we give, we do all of these good things, not to get any thanks or appreciation from people, but rather from the creator of all people, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I mean, Beautifully said, Imam. Um, on our screen, we have a few other names that are being displayed, mashallah, who have been uh, contributing or who have uh, contributed already. We ask Allah to bless all of our donors. We would also like our viewers to kindly share this uh, live stream uh, with their friends and family. Perhaps uh, many will get a chance to watch it afterwards, but we want to spread the khayr, we want to spread the, the, the positivity, inshallah, and we want to share this opportunity of giving. Perhaps uh, someone else can benefit much more than uh, myself and ourselves, and perhaps they might even uh, decide to give a lot more than uh, or me or a few of uh, us combined together. Uh, and the ajr, the thawab here, you will get, I will get. Why? Because we have given that uh, opportunity to that person. We have shown them the way, the platform, how they can uh, serve and, and contribute uh, for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Man dalla ala al khayri ka fa'ilihi. And Nabi Sallallahu said, anyone who just directs and shows the way of good also gets the reward of that as if he did it himself, subhanAllah. So um, we'll take a quick uh, break here, inshallah, as we are uh, near the end of the program. We want to conclude, bi uh, I know Imam and everybody else has to go uh, to, to have iftar. Uh, it's been quite a long day and I'm sure Imam Siraj uh, has had already a busy day, and I know you have a few other programs coming <laughs> right after this. And I, you have, right, I know you, <laughs> right after you, told me you got one right after this. Right after this. Of the law. Bosma Medical Clinic has been helping the Rohingya refugees at the camp. Bosma has provided medical care to over 72,000 refugees in the last three years. Each patient is treated with care by our doctors and nurses at the clinic. We also provide the necessary medications to the patients for free. With your support, Basma continues to serve the Rohingya refugees. There exist so many orphans and helpless children who deserve our care and attention. Our little support can ensure a bright future for them. Basma Orphan Center provides a safe place, the food and care, to nurture them to grow up with the skills and education they need to have a better life. Please help Bosma to serve humanity. Bosma combats hunger by serving hot meals in needy communities. Every day, hundreds of lives are touched by your kind support. We prepare nutritious meals with just one dollar and bring them to the doorsteps of hungry people. With your generous support, Bosma will continue to bring smiles to these innocent faces. 
Please help Bosma to serve humanity. Donate to Bosma. Actually, one other question. Yeah, go ahead. Do you know the name Basma spelled exactly the way it's spelled? It's something very special to me. You have any idea what it is? I do actually. <laughs> how how you know that? You shared it in one of our uh, previous. Pro I think it was last year in uh, Basma program. You shared this. Yep. I did. You want me to give it away? Please give it away. It's uh, one of your daughter's name. Yeah, my second daughter, Basma. Subhanallah. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm always I'm always connected to this magnificent organizations for a lot of reasons, but one of the reasons, name of my daughter Basma. Of course, of course, and and it, it's really an honor to have you, uh, Imam, uh, to be a part of this uh, noble work, and we thank you, we appreciate you, uh, and we hope that our viewers uh, are inspired after today's session. Uh, I want to share with the viewers that Imam Siraj is going to be joining us uh, throughout the month, inshallah. Uh, so we want to uh, have you all be a part of this regularly. Every Friday, Saturdays, and Sundays, we'll have an hour session from 6 p.m. to around 7 p.m., inshallah, Eastern Standard Time. Uh, and we'll have Imam Siraj and uh, Sheikh Yasin Qadi and uh, many other notable speakers throughout the country, inshallah, joining us. So we want to uh, invite you to stay with us, bi'ithnillah. Uh, as we uh, close up the program, inshallah, I just wanted to request our beloved Imam Siraj to just... Uh, if he has any final words and if he can close with a, a short dua, inshallah. I'm, I'm going to let you do the dua, but I do want to make one uh, final statement. Uh, that same brother, Yaqub from South Africa, he texted me just last week and he's always texting me. He texted me all the time and he said, I'm quoting from Martin Luther King Jr. He said, life's most persistent and urgent question is what are you doing for others? And I texted him back. I said, yes. I said, I know that quote and I quote it often, and, but I changed it a little bit. And because of a verse I read in the Quran, whatever uh, good you spend is for yourself. Life's most persistent and urgent question is what are you doing for yourself by serving others? And that's the whole idea. We got to serve others. That's what Allah would have us to do as a khalifa to Allah. Jazakumullah khair, Imam Siraj. Appreciate it. May Allah bless you. I know you have to catch your other program, inshallah. We pray for uh, all of our brothers and sisters across the world. We pray for Basma. May Allah subhanahu wa put khair and barakah in this uh, noble work. May Allah yeah. Azza wa bless all of our viewers and uh, grant them the best fit dunya wal akhirah. We make special dua for all of our donors uh, as we are in the final moments of Jum'ah right before iftar, such a sacred and precious time for dua to be accepted. We ask Allah Azza wa Jal to grant all of the du'as, the good, righteous, good du'as that all of us have in our hearts. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if it's best for us in this life and in the next, may He grant it to us, Ya Rabbil Alameen. We pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives us, our parents, our spouses, our children, our uh, siblings, our teachers, uh, all of our loved ones, Ya Rabbil Alameen. We pray for those who have passed away, the deceased. May Allah Azza wa Jal uh, shower upon them His choicest mercy and expand for them their graves and Grant them all Jannatul Firdaus, Ya Rabbil Alameen. We pray for all those who are sick. May Allah Azza wa give shifa ajila kamila to all those who are suffering. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alleviate the pain of our brothers and sisters uh, in the Rohingya refugee camps, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Oh Allah, please help all those who are struggling worldwide in Yemen, in uh, Kashmir, in Palestine, wherever people, human beings are oppressed and struggling. Ya Rabbil, please alleviate their suffering, Ya Rahman Rahimin, in Syria. Oh Allah, please accept this dua from us. And uh, make us among those who you are pleased with, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Wa salli Allahumma ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa ashabi ajma'een. Barakallahu feekum everyone. Inshallah we will see you all tomorrow. Stay safe, stay well. Fi amanillah. Subhanakallahumma bihamdika. Ashadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa tawbu ilayk. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.
Assalamu alaikum. This is your brother Imam Siraj Wahaj. I want you to put on your calendar right now, May 9th. There's going to be a great program. It's going to be a fundraiser for Basma. Everybody should attend. There's going to be great speakers. Inshallah, we'll be motivated and inspired uh, to give. Basna is doing a great work. Because of Basna, we know about things that we ordinarily wouldn't know. Um, I always believe that when people know better, they do better. I remember the Prophet, peace and blessing be upon him, said that there was a Prophet that was beaten by his people so much that his face began to bleed and he wiped the blood from his face and said, Allahumma ikfir li qawmi fa'innahum la ya'lamun O oh Allah, forgive my people because they don't know. We can say years ago that we didn't know. We didn't know about the suffering people in Bangladesh, but because of Basma, alhamdulillah, they have informed us. And make sure, put on your calendar May 9th for this great fundraiser for Basma. Assalamu alaikum. Ramadan, 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 Ramad